Well, welcome to our morning service for Thursday morning. We are in our Green Prayer Books on page 73, and you can follow along there. It starts, To him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. A reading from Ephesians chapter 1. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for he has blessed us in our union with Christ by giving us every spiritual gift in the heavenly world. Before the world was made, God had already chosen us to be his in Christ, so that we should be holy and without fault before him. Because of his love, God had already decided that through Christ Jesus, he would bring us to himself as sons. This was his pleasure and his purpose. Let us praise God for his glorious grace, for the free gift he gave us in his dear Son. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 34, uh, verses 11 through to 18. It says this. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our second reading for today is a short one. It comes from Luke 24, as we are thinking about the ascension of Jesus. Luke 24, verses 50 through to 53. When he, that is Jesus, had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Well, today we're thinking about the next line of the creed, he ascended into heaven. Uh, and it's worth asking the question, since Jesus was bodily resurrected, uh, where is he now? Well, the Bible tells us that sometime after the resurrection, Jesus left his disciples, not by dying a second time, uh, but by being carried up into heaven. Now, whilst we can trust that the disciples saw Jesus physically go up into the heavens, uh, there's a much deeper theological issue going on here. The ascension seems to be part two, the first part being the resurrection, of Jesus' return from the depths of death to the height of glory. We really don't know where or how Jesus' physical body inhabits our space and time now, but his ascension shows us that he is in heaven with our heavenly Father and no longer limited by the physical realm. Firstly, the son's place and position is fully restored to what it was before the incarnation, before he came down from heaven. And second, he goes on ahead of his own people as the pioneer of our new resurrection life with God. Now, because Jesus is in the heavenly realm with our heavenly Father, not limited by the physical world, uh, there's a few things that happen with that. We also know that he is with us, even though we cannot see him physically. He's not in one place on earth at any one point in time. No, he's with us, his people, no matter where we are on earth. He's with me today as I prepare this talk. He's with you in your home. Theologians talk about Jesus being omnipresent to describe this. There also in heaven, he intercedes for us. 
bringing God the Father our, our requests as we pray to him through Jesus. Well, brothers and sisters, this should give us great comfort, even as we come before God today with our prayers, as we listen to him in his word. Jesus, the ascended Jesus, is in heaven. He is with God our Father. He is with us. He intercedes for us as our great high priest, as the writer of Hebrews so aptly puts it. So would you pray with me through Jesus to God our Father? Let's pray. And I'll pray the collect for ascension, which is in a few weeks' time. Almighty God, grant that as we believe your only begotten Son to have ascended into heaven, so we may also in heart and mind there ascend and with him continually dwell, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue our service on page 74 with a, a canticle, a song from Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the waters of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Let's say the creed together. On page 117, We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Well, our prayers continue on from page 74. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. You may like to pause the video now and uh, make your own prayers to the Lord through Jesus, our mediator, our high priest who is in heaven with our Lord. Uh, if you need some direction of what to pray for, uh, page 78 is a really good page to do that. There's a whole bunch of intercessions and thanksgivings that you can use for that time. Uh, pause the video.
pray your prayers, uh, come back and we'll pray the morning collect together uh, and then finish our service together. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen.